Now let's stitch the perwinkle flower. You can see that before filling the petals I made an outline using two strands of floss. I did it using split stitch. I do it using short stitches because the flower is small and I want to get a perfect solid line. You can use another stitches for this outline like back stitch, stem stitch or even whipped back stitch. I personally like to use split stitch for it. I use the same color and two strands to fill the petals. It's long and short stitch. I make one stitch by the center to mark the direction and then I fill all the rest. When I'm filling I put my needle outside of the border but really close to it. I want to cover the outline with my stitches. Avoid catching the outline stitches with your needle, you don't want to split it because then this outline will be partly visible outside. Also I don't fill entire petal, I leave some space for another color closer to the center. So basically if you did an inner outline with filling, you usually don't need to do outside outline. Later your edges are already perfect. This type of outline can add some volume to your borders. The more strands of floss you use, the more volume you can add. I usually use two strands of floss and the same color of thread for outline and filling. I like this method because the petals and leaves look more natural. Now I change the color and use only one strand of floss. I'm blending those colors and it creates a soft gradient. yellow threads for the flower center and this flower is complete. You often ask me a question why do we need to outline and how to decide if you need it inside or outside or we should do the both. I wrote an article about it on Patreon and shared my opinion. You can find the link to this article in the video description. But first I would like to ask you what do you think about it? Which kind of outline do you use? Or you don't use it at all? Please let me know in the comments, I would be glad to discuss it. I hope that my tips were useful for you. If yes, so give this video a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. In my next video I will be stitching a marigold flower and viburnum. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and I will see you in my next videos. I want to say a huge thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. I don't have any monetization on YouTube and those videos became possible thanks to my patrons. If you want to join them, tap the link in the description below. Join my stitching club and get all the amazing benefits I prepared for you. Check it out! And of course a huge thank you and a special big hugs to those who joined my fundraising stitching level for Ukraine. I believe that together we can make the difference. Please share your progress shots on Instagram and Facebook under the Peace for Ukraine stitching along hashtag so I will see it and share in my stories and feed and invite your friends. 
Ukraine still needs your support. The war is not over and it's been more than 100 days since it started and we are still fighting for our freedom and democracy. You can find more information about how to support by the link in the video description below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.